now. Hey everybody, this is Dominique from Crescent City Gumbo, and it's time for What's in the Pot. We're going to show you another list of daily ingredients that starts with today and ends with, I don't know, seven days from now. It'll be a lot of fun. We have a lot to talk about. We have a lot of things going on. I really hope you're having a great week. Um, Thanksgiving's coming up on us fast. Uh, whatever you're thankful for, you know what? Do it. Be it. Go for it. Have a good time. Our main ingredient today is Cataclysmic by Dee Dee Shock. I hope you enjoy it as much as my daughter does. Oh. Go. Kate really loves this song, man. Kate loves it a lot. Yeah, my little girl loves this song. I hope you like it too. Like a rock and riff right there, I dig it. That's good stuff. 
stuff. So that was a little bit of D.D. Shock for you. I really enjoy D.D. Shock. I think I've seen them live twice. Um, there's some stuff happening there. Uh, they really put on a good show. I hope I, I hope we get to see that sometime again in the not-so-distant future. How's everybody feeling on this Tuesday? It is freaking Tuesday, Tuesday, the 22nd of November, which means that uh, Thanksgiving is um, eh, pretty close. What's up, Brent Miller? Hey, Brent Miller and uh, Art Cinco are in a band together called Sinner's Revival. You may have seen them right here on Crescent City Gumbo. They performed. Uh, we performed in the studio here, and it's absolutely fantastic. And since they performed here... They kind of started playing everywhere. It's really, really cool. They're doing, they're doing some really good things. They have some really good music. They cover great music, but they also have some originals that they're working on. So if you ever get a chance to get out and see Sinner's Revival, do so. I saw them this weekend. They played at Headbanging for Hunger. And, you know, not the they weren't heavy. They're not a super heavy band, but uh, they fit right in. It was a great show. They did a great job. And if you uh, like uh, anything that, uh, or if you believe anything that I say about these local bands, Go ahead, hit them up, hit them up, like them, follow them, uh, you know, do what you got to do to sh- support some locals. And uh, the best thing you can do is get out and go see a live show. Um, the easiest thing to do is share and uh, comment and, and participate in their posts. That helps them look better to other people, and it um, it uh, it means a lot. So trans metal, that's right, they identify as metal. Yeah, it's like um, like like expanded metal. It's not as heavy, but it's still metal, right? So, yeah, what's everybody up to this weekend? You got any, any this week, they got any fun stuff happening? We do have a pretty big fundraiser coming up. Unfortunately, uh, Crescent City Gumbo and myself will not be able to be a part of this, but bam, rocking for Richard right there. Rocking for Richard uh, is a cancer benefit for Mr. Richard Sheremy. Um, the Rockin' for Richard is a benefit to raise money for Richard Sheremy to help him in his battle with throat cancer. Starts at 10 a.m. at the VFW home in La Rose and ends at 10 p.m. So, wow, 12 hours. It'll be great food, live uh, auctions, raffle, half and half drawing, and live music from six different bands. The bands aren't listed here, but I'm assuming that Orange is going to be one of those bands playing, So, which would be great. The band Orange is fantastic. And uh, what's the band name again? Jimmy McDonald. Come on, man. That's Sinner's Revival. Well, um, <laughs> you know those. Uh, you know them quite well, don't you? Oh, wait, you... You probably don't know them. Sinners Revival. Get in touch with Mr. Art Cinco right there or Brent Miller. Brent's the lead singer, guitar player, and Art Cinco is um, lead guitar player for the most part. Uh, they kind of switch back and forth, but they're a really good band. All right, so Richard Sheremy Cancer Benefit at the VFW Hall in La Rose. Uh, this is very important. Richard Sheremy's a big part of uh, music around here, so um, it'd be nice if they, we can get a lot of people to go out there, show up, and, and go to town, go have some fun, and be awesome. You know what I'm saying? Please come out and support this worthy cause. All proceeds go to help Richard with medical and traveling expenses. Please spread the word. There you go. I hope y'all are happy with that because uh, I, uh, you know, I, I do my best to help support as many people and as many functions and especially uh, benefits like that as uh, as I possibly can. Crescent City Gumbo is uh, is pretty busy. Uh, we've been we've been spread kind of thin for a while. I'm trying to I'm trying to take some uh, take some a uh, little bit of time for myself every now and then and. Usually it ends up being a lot of time for myself, but when we get back to it, you know, it's always like rush, 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 and we do our best to keep up. But we do okay. I think we do okay. We got a lot of friends out there, a lot of supporters, a lot of people that are backing us up, and we really appreciate that. Thank you all for everything. And if you haven't liked or followed or done any of that stuff with our Instagram, our YouTube, and uh, you know Facebook pages, please do so. We um we're doing okay. Uh, we got a we, we, you know we reach out to a lot of people uh, um all the time. And we do our best to, uh, to, like I said, keep the entertainment scene kicking and uh, show more, help people show more interest in the scene by making them aware of what's happening around town and on the Gulf Coast. We try to reach out as far as we can. So with that being said, this is a huge week for local music. We have so much going on. There's a lot happening, even Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving Day, there's a lot of shows. And of course, Thanksgiving Eve, there's a good, there's a, a real, real bunch of shows. The Victory Bells will be at the World War II Museum for um for brunch. I think it was on um on uh uh oh, show signal ended. Oh no 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 no. Oh, I'm I'm still streaming, so I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. But uh yeah, with uh there's a lot happening this week. Um, we got some fundraisers. We got volunteer orientation at St. Charles Parish uh, Animal Shelter. That was earlier today. Uh, what's up, Julius Craig? How you doing? 
We got uh, In the Pit with Brent Kreiner tomorrow night, as usual. Um, Victory Bells are, are at the World War II Museum, as, and, as mentioned. But, I mean, we got some big shows. So if you're interested in getting out and going to have some fun, just go back, watch the list, enjoy the song from Dee Dee Shock, and uh, you'll be you'll be entertained, and you get to figure out what you're going to do the rest of the week. So we have a lot of things happening. There's no reason for you to stay home every night. Get up, get out, go support some local local acts, local businesses, local performances, local everything. That's where we need to be. We need to be there for our uh, communities. We need to be there for everyone in our communities, that, um, especially the, the small business owners that are struggling these days because um, it's tough right now, very tough. So, yeah, what's going on? It is Tuesday, Tuesday, Tacky Taco Tie-Dye Tuesday, according to Kate. Kate, my daughter, who absolutely loves D.D. Shock, uh, he, Kate kind of, I, I, I hesitate to say that Kate gravitates towards the female fronted bands, um, but she, she, she really enjoys them a lot because she, she likes lots of different bands. But um, like Modern Moms, Dee Dee Shock, she's, she's kind of headed in that direction. She likes Modern Moms a lot because she gets to hang out with, uh, with them as much as uh, anybody else for that matter because Modern Moms come hang out at the studio and stuff, get ready for, for some tour. And uh, it looks like I might be going on tour with a... Um, with a band uh, that um, that I'm not going to mention yet, but it seems like uh, I've, I've been in, well, it doesn't seem like it, but I have been invited to go on tour next year with a particular band um, to help uh, be help manage people on the road. What's up, James Perkins, JP, Four Skin Wallet, Five Skin Wallet. You're the Five Skin Wallet, that's right. Um, I would be um, road managing uh, and to be the tour manager, and I would be the announcer guy at all the all the functions and events and venues that they play. So that'll be fun. That'll be a lot of fun. And every time I do that, I promise you, I will be broadcasting live at least for the band that I will be representing. And I'm sure they'd love that. And I'm gonna do everything I can to uh, to broadcast every band that I possibly got. Don't you are short. I ain't selling you nothing, man. I'm just talking the truth as straight facts, yo. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Let's see. We got um I got an image from uh about Kate. Oh, Kate's Kate is currently at some dinosaur thing going on and she's having herself a blast. All right, all right. So let's see what else we got going on. Like tonight, tonight just the two of us are at Pedro's in Harahan at 5 30. Tomorrow night we got Victor well tomorrow. Uh, Victory Bells, Labor of Love, Art, Labor of Love Art Roundup at the Maple Leaf Bar in New Orleans. Go help, go help support some local artists out there. Bo, Bo Porsche, uh, Bo Porsche and the Backstabbers at, on the canal. The Cool Whips, the Generators, Cassie and Johnny Joven Webb, Fabulous Von Zippers, Ryan Foray and Foray Tradition, Paper Chase, uh, the Crescent Kings. Storm Surge, DJ Entice, and DJ Burns, Scotty Untangled. That's all tomorrow night, all right? And then Thursday night, uh, we've got Justin Malonsaw, the Swingin' G's, DJ Snow and DJ Burns, Ron and Tina's Open Mic, Thirsty Thursday, DJ Shawnee D at the Backyard Bar, Ladies Nights all over the place. You got so much to do. It's so much fun. And then, of course, Friday, there's a lot of stuff there. I'm not going to read them all off, but you know what? I'm pretty sure y'all can figure out what's going on. All you have to do is watch the video, enjoy the music, and write down what you want to do, where you want to go, maybe even do a screenshot. Screenshots work, don't you? Yeah. Cool, cool. Jimmy McDonald, you are awesome. Jimmy McDonald is another one of those guys out there helping out the music scene by um, broadcasting uh, music. If you got music that you want to play uh, on uh, internet radio, Jimmy McDonald's might be one that you want to talk to, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean... If he, want, if he wants to throw out his info right there, if you want to get any, anybody in touch with you, please do. It'd be okay. Drop it in the comments. I, I encourage it. You know how it is. Look at me. I'm kind of scruffy. I need, uh, I need a shave. I need a shave. Yeah, yeah. My head's not so bad, but my, my face is getting scruffy. Show's coming up. Show's coming up this weekend. Ah, uh, let's see. I know I, I have, I, I want to be at a bunch of these shows this weekend, but of course, I'm not going to be able to do it. But um, I guarantee you I'll end up in, uh, at Battlefield one of these nights. And let's see. Duh, 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 duh. I'm trying to find uh, some of these, like, uh, drab manuscript and Spring Hill Jacks are at Gasa Gasa Friday night. I mean, I'd really like to go to that. Bucktown All-Stars. I love Bucktown All-Stars. They're really good. Very entertaining. The horn section gives me chills. They're at Rockin' Bulls Friday night. Top Cats. 
Um, 85th anniversary block party for Gennaro's. I mean, that's all kinds of stuff going on. No posers at Whiskey Haven and Homa, Titanium Rain at Park Place. Let's see what else we got. Full Fistful of flannel in Kings of Neon at Shenanigans. Uh, shenanigans has stuff going on all day, and then later on that night they're going to have some DJs show up. Your boy opened for Eli Young Band. I don't know who Eli Young Band is. Who's Eli Young? Sounds like a country guy. I don't know anybody. Eli Young. I bet you he did kill it, James. Now, Mr. JP right there is talking about PP. <laughs> James P., and he's talking about Paxton P., um, his, uh, his stepson. Paxton P. is one of the most one of the most talented country artists coming up right now. And y'all, most of y'all know how I feel about country. I don't. <laughs> but uh, watching, watching uh, Paxton P. perform is nothing less than fantastic, phenomenal, amazing. The kid knows what he's doing. He knows how to work the crowd. He is a beyond, he, he's, he's ahead of his time. He's beyond his years when it comes to um, understanding an audience and getting the crowd involved. The, the, he knows what he's doing. So if you ever want to be entertained, even if you don't like the Paxton Fee, that's right, Art. Even if you, J-Rod, what's up, J-Rod? Even if you don't like country music, I would suggest to go see a, um, a Paxton Fee show because, um, you know, I, I, every time I go, it's fun for me. I have a blast. Not only because I get to I get to see one of the uh, one of the most entertaining people on stage, I get to hang out with James Perkins right there, and he always brings me uh, two moon pies and a Pepsi, and uh, that's him. All right, that's right. The Paxton. That's what my daughter called. Kate is big into all this. My daughter is big into everything that we do here at Crescent City Gumbo. And uh, if you haven't seen her on the show, she comes out. She comes on the show and she entertains. She's great. And uh, when we talk about Paxton P, she calls him the. Paxton P. It's kind of cute, and she does it with uh, the closest to a, a country accent that she can possibly muster, and it's adorable. I love it. It's fan freaking tastic. Hey, all right, we're gonna try to get uh, try to figure out how to get these shows coming up to you more regularly at a better scheduled time. I don't know. We pretty do pretty we do, moon pie. We do pretty good here. Uh, it, it when I'm when I'm in town, but um, I've been spending a lot of time uh, out of, outside of Norco, so I, I'm trying to figure out a place where I can get everything set up. And when I do figure that out, I'm gonna grab all this stuff that's in front of me right now that you can't see: the three monitors, the the three uh, vi- computer monitors, the two uh, studio monitor speakers, the computer, this microphone, this desk that it's on. I'm gonna try to grab everything and go set it up somewhere else so I can get, I can get more consistent and uh, it's been rough and I apologize for that but uh, there are a lot of things happening right now a lot of stuff behind the scenes that most people don't know about and you know what I'm okay with that I don't think you need to know but uh, eventually everybody's gonna know because you know that's just the way it works whether I want it to or not you can come in my closet when I'm finished well you got to come out the closet before I can get in there buddy just saying you know I'm already out (laughs) You just got to join me and the rest of us uh, civilized uh, people out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Well, thank you all for tuning in. This has been a lot of fun. If you have any questions about anything that happened here, don't ask me because I have no freaking clue. I actually, never mind. <laughs> nah, just kidding. If y'all, um, I wish I'll, I'll help you out with anything. If you got any, uh, no, it's, if you got anything, um, any questions about what's happening around town, I'll do my best to figure it out and uh, help you out as, as much as I can. If you notice that something's missing from the list, let me know that as well. Uh, don't forget that we have the big Rockin' for Richard fundraiser at the VFW Hall in La Rose. Uh, Saturday, I think the 26th is the 26th Saturday, um, which I'm pretty sure it is. I just need to click on this. Yeah, 26th, right there. Saturday, November 26th, Rockin' for Richard, Cancer Benefit at the VFW in La Rose. Get your butts out there if you can. If you're out in the area, please do it. It's going to be six bands, all kinds of food, auctions, and uh, all kinds of other stuff. So, y'all have a great day. We'll talk to you as soon as possible. You be good out there. I got some work to do in the house, so I'm going to get out here. And go do that stuff there and try not to get wet because it started sprinkling. Um, Try to find some sun every chance you get and uh, get yourself some vitamin D. From me and all of me here at Crescent City Gumbo, happy Thanksgiving. If we don't see you before then, we're going to try to get on tomorrow morning. But uh, no promises. Uh, Y'all take it easy. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all your support. We really, really, really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, y'all be good now. Take it easy. (laughs) 